U.S. spends more per capita than any other country on education, yet by every international measurement in math and science competence from kindergarten through the 12th grade, we trail most of the countries of the world. The implications of this are clearly obvious. Some even say it poses a threat to our national security. Do you feel that way, and what do you intend to do about it? The question to Senator Obama first. This probably has more to do with uh, our economic future than anything. And that means it also has a national security implication because there's never been a nation on earth that saw its economy decline and continue to maintain uh, its primacy as a military power. So uh, we've got to get our education system right. Now, uh, typically what's happened is that there's been a debate uh, between more money uh, or reform. And I think we need both. Uh, in some cases, we are going to have to invest early childhood education, which closes the achievement gap uh, so that every child is prepared for school. Every dollar we invest in that, we end up getting huge benefits with improved reading scores, reduced dropout rates, reduced delinquency rates. I think it's going to be critically important for us to recruit a, a generation of new teachers, an army of new teachers, especially in math and science, give them higher pay, give them more professional development and support in exchange for higher standards uh, and accountability. Uh, and I think it's important for us to make college affordable. Right now, I meet young people all across the country who either have decided not to go to college or if they're going to college, they are taking on twenty, thirty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 worth of debt. And it's very difficult for them to go into some fields like basic research and science, for example, thinking to themselves that they're going to have a mortgage before they even buy a house. Uh, and that's why uh, I've proposed a $4,000 tuition credit every student every year in exchange for some form of community service, whether it's military service, whether it's Peace Corps, whether it's working in a community. Uh, if we do those things, then I believe that we can create a better school system. But there's one last ingredient that I just want to mention, and that's parents. We can't do it just in the schools. Parents are going to have to show more responsibility. They've got to turn off the TV set, put away the video games, and finally start instilling that thirst for knowledge that our students need. Senator McCain. Well, it, it's a civil rights issue of the 21st century. Uh, there's no doubt that we have achieved equal access to schools in America after a long, and difficult, and terrible struggle. But what is the advantage in a low-income area of sending a child to a failed school, and that being your only choice. So choice and competition among schools is one of the key elements. It's already been proven in places like New Orleans, and New York City, and other places where we have charter schools, where we take good teachers and we reward them and promote them. And we find bad teachers another line of work. And we have to be able to give parents the same choice, frankly, that Senator Obama and Mrs. Obama had and Cindy and I had, to send our kids to the school, their kids to the school of their choice. Charter schools aren't the only answer, but they're providing competition. They are providing the kind of competitions that have upgraded both schools, uh, types of schools. Now, throwing money at the problem is not the answer. You will find that some of the worst school systems in America get the most money per student. So I believe that we need to reward these good teachers. We need to encourage programs such as Teach for America and Troops to Teachers, where people, after having served in the military, can go right to teaching and not have to take these examinations which or have the certification that uh, some are required in some state. But we must improve education in this country. As far as college education is concerned, we need to make those student loans, loans available. We need to give them a repayment schedule that they can meet. We need to have full student loan uh, program for in-state tuition, and we certainly need to adjust the student loan eligibility to inflation. Do you think the federal government should play a larger role in the schools? Well, and I mean more federal money. Well, we have a tradition of local control of the schools, uh, and that's a tradition that has served us well. But I do think that it is important for the federal government to step up and help local school districts do some of the things they need to do.